It's nearly Christmas, and this is important. We're going to do public service work yeah, here. Yeah, we are. We the really are. The carving of the turkey. Um, it's a, a new radical way. Um, uh, it's kind of being pioneered by the turkey man. The kind of the Kate Moss of the turkey world is a guy called Paul <laughs> Kelly, OK? Uh, and he kind of... His family saved the bronze turkey, the vintage kind of old yeah. breed, uh, yeah. which hopefully you'll be having. Now, the old way is the ritual of taking it to the table uh, and carving. A little and it, bit And like it is that. beautiful, but I don't know if you've noticed, people get quite stressed waiting, Yeah. right? Um, now, I'm not knocking it. I still do it. But I want to show you his way. It's really, really nice. Uh, and, and what it does is amplify um, uh, lots of things and give you better portion control. So first up, uh, our camera here close up. Let's go from this end so we're helping you. The wing comes off. The wing... Right. Uh, Philip, come over, darling. Um, put that wing in, in that little tray. So the wing comes off uh, and then you want to just cut with the tip of the knife into the thigh here. And if, oh, you, just, geez, if you just bring on. if you just bring the bird over, right, it naturally, this will just fall off, right, like that. So we can take that leg off, right, and we'll put that there. And we've got the lovely part here. And this here is called the oyster. That's, that's my favourite This is like the best bit. So we'll take that out. That's what now, my mum loves. what he does, which is very interesting, is we're going to take that fork. We're going to just run our knife down the centre. This line here, right, we're going to run our knife down here and we'll remove this whole side. And it's very easy to do. It's very, pra uh, it's very predictable to do. And you just peel it off like that. Oh, my God. Now, what the benefits of this is, and if you're only going to do half a turkey, you haven't sort of ruined that side, um, what you can do then is portion control. So, and it's much, much easier to slice. Oh, my God. Now, what you can do is either leave or take the skin off. Mm -hmm. And in this tray here, we put the wings and the skin, right, and we pop that back in the oven. Now, you might think, is it worth it? Just for 30 seconds. Now, bear with me, right? Look, right. At, look at Philip's eyes. This is radical well, new I've stuff. Well, I've got to say... It is radical, but bearing in mind that I watch everything you do, this is how you've carved a t uh, chicken in the past. I've yes. seen you do it. Yes. I I, every Sunday, if we have a chicken, I carve it like I you mean, do. I mean, that, that is so clever. So, what, what this is nice is it's, you can do this in the kitchen, and then you can platter it up, guys, like this. Oh, my gosh. And we put it over, beautiful. and then we can just fan it out, and it looks lovely. You've portion controlled. It's nice. That's rested for an hour and a half already. Look how steamy it is. That's then we've amazing. got our thigh meat here. Now, if you just want to pull that thigh meat, um, and you can use the knife there to pull it off. Now, this crackling, it's good, right? But if you put it in the oven for about two minutes with yeah. the wings, right, then you get the most amazing turkey crackling. Now, of course, the, the reason turkey that... Turkey crackling. It's, it's another level, right? Oh, and when that, when that cools down, it's going to be insane. So we can then put the crackling. As soon as that gets to a little bit cooler, it'll go super, super crisp. So it's a very good method. The wings become nice and crispy. I mean, that just looks incredible. Oh, it's beautiful. It? And you can do that in the kitchen. So, um, any questions so far? No, <laughs> I'm just okay. totally and utterly so mesmerised. We've got the bacon it. that larded here as well. Nice, nice for colour. And then, if we just let that cool down a bit, it is going to sound you can hear like it. A, it'll sound like I a poppadom. It'll it be sounds... like a little crispy turkey poppadom. So all very nice. And of course, just before you go out, I know yeah. Cliff is going to do this, so ignore this. But a, like, a little chafing of of gravy. Chafing of gravy. Well, I just made that up. <laughs> um, you know. Um, and, um, and then as this crackling gets now, listen, guys. I know. I right? know. So we've got crackling, we've got white portion controlled meat, you'll get more portions out of it. You've got the brown meat. Oh uh, thank God. you very much, Paul Kelly, good lad, because I learned that from him. Um, oh but of course, God. if you're going to be a turkey farmer, you might as well be good at carving. Yeah, right? you might as well be. If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.